Okay guys, today I will show you how to make a cool preloader animation that you can see on your screen. I have made it on with only the help of HTML file and CSS files. I have not used any kind of JavaScript code for it. Okay, now let's see how to make it. Okay. Here I am using the Sublime Text Editor and uh, <laughs> from it I can get this basic HTML skeleton. Okay. Now I'm linking the CSS file to it. And you already know if you have watched my other videos or you have basic knowledge of HTML and CSS to how to link this. Then here you have to write the real address of your CSS file. Okay. Uh, now inside the poly tag, I am writing the div with the ID of you can say preloader, and um, I am closing it. Now inside the div tag, we are writing a div tag with ID of you can say loader, and I am closing it. Okay. Uh oh, what I'm doing? I'm closing the div tag. Okay, now I'm copying this and pasting this four more times because we have five squares here. Okay, now in the CSS file for the preloader, I'm giving the position of relative and I want to display them as a block. And uh, the margin top will be of uh, you can say 300 pixels, and margin left of uh, 600 pixels. Okay. Now I'm giving it the width of 300 pixels. Okay. We have given the margin because uh, we want our animation to take place in the center of our web page or document. We don't want our animation to take place in any, any other corner or anywhere else. Okay. Now for the loader, I would like to write display in line block. This will help the block to stay in a single line. And I'm giving them width and height of uh, 30 pixels and also height of uh, 30 pixels now i'm giving them background color of uh, red and at last i'm giving the animation of uh, i'm the name of lord it will last for pop second and animation function is linear dynamic function and it will stay for infinite time Okay, now I'm using the ant style property. Okay, and this will affect only the first child or the first div tag only. And I'm giving them the animation delay of uh, minus 0.3 seconds. Okay, now I'm copying this and pasting four more times because we have we have four childs okay so for the second child the animation delay will be 0.6 for the third third child it will be you can say 1.2 seconds then for fourth child it will be 1.5 seconds no for this 0.9 seconds and for this 1.2 seconds and for the last or the fifth child it is 1.5 seconds okay okay now for the keyframes or for the loading, loading animation we are giving it the name of loading load 
or at the zero percent of the animation we want to transform and rotate it zero degree okay now i'm also cropping this and pasting it two more times it will be for 56 50 percent and this will be for 100 percent now at a 50 percent we want to transform to 90 degree and we also we can also give it a background color when it transform at a, um, 90 degree or at a 50 percent of the animation okay now i'm saving this and I'm opening it in the browser. Okay, you can see this. Uh oh, what I got. This is also a nice effect. <laughs> As I can say. Okay, so we should do something. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to rotate only the y axis. Okay. If we rotate both axis, it will rotate from the both of the axis. Okay. That is also a nice effect. You can see. Okay. Mm. Now I am going to show you the previous effect that's a nice effect okay and now I'm going to save it um, am I also going to give the background color for the body to black and okay now I'm opening it this in browser and you can see there is a nice animation effect Okay, so now I have done a minor change in our code. I have given the second to positive, not negative. I have removed the negative sign. Now let's save it and see what we got in the browser. Okay, now we can see that in the previous when we gave the negative timing it will affect it from the right to left okay right that right left side. and in this you can see it affects from the left to right side okay so that's it for this video and one addition you can make in this video is you can give it the border radius to 100 percent this will serve create a circle and then opening the browser okay now we can see this this is also a good effect okay so that's it for this video if you guys really liked my video please subscribe to this channel and if you have any doubts about this video or any previous video you can comment in the below section or in the comment section okay so Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the very next video.